Friday officially kicks off Bike Week 2023 here in Daytona Beach. And as promised, homesofdaytonabeach.com is bringing you the short list of events that you need to check out during this 10 day event. Leave us a comment below and tell us what you're planning on doing this week. The weather looks like it's going to be absolutely beautiful. So hop on your bike, get out on the road and enjoy yourselves. We're going in full throttle. Number one, the Cabbage Patch. This off the beaten path bar is definitely a place that you're going to want to visit this bike week. They have tons of events going on all week long to keep you busy, including bike shows with cash prizes, live concerts, and their world famous coleslaw wrestling. That's right, I said coleslaw wrestling. There's also going to be plenty of vendors set up where you can buy merchandise, motorcycle apparel and accessories with tons of food and drink options. You can find the Cabbage Patch at 549 Tomoka Farms Road in Samsula. Number two, the Iron Horse Saloon. Located on US 1 in Ormond Beach, the Iron Horse is a staple for locals and visitors alike during bike week. Every year people flock to the Iron Horse to get a hold of some of their steak tips. If you have not tried them yet, then I highly recommend you put this destination on your must do list because when I say they are phenomenal, I mean it but the Iron Horse is so much more than just steak tips. They're going to have tons of events all week long, including live concerts, a bike burnout contest, and Richard Rawlings from Gas Monkey Garage is also going to be visiting the Iron Horse on March the 11th from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Number three, Burning Bike. This annual event takes place at Fast Lane Campgrounds in DeLand. It's really close to the Volusia County Fairgrounds, just to give you guys an idea of where it's located. Every year, a 75 foot handcrafted wooden motorcycle is created and people can come take pictures with the motorcycle or you can write a handwritten message on the bike to a loved one who may not be with us anymore before they set that bike on fire. This year, the bike burning is on Friday, March 10th, and the burn party starts at 5 p.m. and goes all night long. There's going to be tons of entertainment out here, including the Globe of Death, fire dancers, stilt walkers, high wire acts, tons of live music, food, and drink vendors. You're also not going to want to miss the daily swap meet out here from 9 until 5 p.m. Camping is also available at Fast Lane Campgrounds, and if you are camping here, you will get free admission to the swap meet as well as burning bike. Number four, the Daytona 200. The 81st running of the Daytona 200 takes place on March 9th through the 11th at Daytona International Speedway and brings tons of racing enthusiasts to the track every single year. Ticket prices for the grandstand and infield access start at around $45, but you're definitely going to want to check out the Speedway's website at DaytonaInternationalSpeedway.com for more information on ticket pricing. There are also more racing events taking place at the Speedway this coming week other than the 200. So on March 4th at 7 p.m., you're going to have a motocross race, and then you're also going to have a flat track race on March 9th and 10th at 7 p.m. Number five, the Boardwalk Bike Show. On March 10th from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., you're gonna wanna head down to the Boardwalk at the end of Main Street for one of the best bike shows you're going to see in the area. They're anticipating about over 200 bikes will be competing for the grand cash prize of $500 for Best in Show. They're also going to be giving away other trophies and other prizes in about 20 other different categories. If you wanna register your bike, you can do that online. The price is about $30 and you can visit them on their website at floridafullthrottle.com. Number six, last but certainly not least is Main Street. As one of the most popular destinations here in Daytona Beach for Bike Week, you can park right on Main Street and enjoy all of the festivities here. If you're new to the area or you've never been to a Bike Week before, some of the bars that you should definitely check out are the Boot Hill Saloon, Main Street Station, and Froggies. There's never a dull moment on Main Street during Bike Week, and you're going to find Bike Week apparel, merchandise, and be entertained by some excellent live music, including one of my favorite bands, Hey Fire, who is going to be performing at the Full Moon Saloon at select times throughout the week on their indoor stage. So you're definitely going to want to check them out. Let me know in the comments below if you're planning on attending any of these events or if you have something else in mind. 
If you are out and about riding around and you find a house that's for sale that you'd like to see, you can always reach me on our website at homesofdaytonabeach.com or you can call or text me at 386-262-2011. We are really happy that you guys are here. So get out there, have fun, ride safe, and if you drink, drink responsibly. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.